Hello, people, and welcome to Citadel News. I am Muffin. I'm Evil Soul Hunter. Tonight we bring you some stories from gaming and other stuff like that. Yeah, yes, immediately. And the first topic that we're going to talk about is how the ESRB is censoring box art, like the new title, Dead Island. I can't believe they actually did that to them. Well, I yeah, sometimes it's a good idea that they do it, because sometimes box art is a little violent. Like, they did it for Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, originally, it was going to have three fingers bit off, it's the, but now they just have the two fingers bent down and one thumb bit off. I'm looking at that box art now. I like it the way it is, but I can see what they're saying. But I, well, I gotta say, honest to God, the what they were talking about, the friggin' hanging man from the tree, I think that would've looked good. That's personally me. Yeah, it's not too gory or anything, so I don't see, I can see why they did it, because it's kind of violent, but... Abaturing lynching? Yeah. The, the Southerners would love it. They would, but... Little Being kids, little kids and their parents, you know. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise for little kids, because they can be like, oh, look, this is a game where you play on an island and you have to bring it back to life or something. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, you have to save everybody by killing everybody. With weapons. That actually makes sense. Not, like, think about that for a zombie thing. You have to kill everybody, but killing them, you're releasing them from their flesh hunger rape fest. Okay. That makes sense. In a retarded way. But it makes you wonder if they're going to be more stricter in the future. Because uh, if they're, if they're yeah. banning and uh, still a wet, then what are they going to do next? Ban titles. I still go out of mouth. I said nothing about dildos. You heard nothing. I, I did hear everything because I, I have stupid hearing. Oh! Well, next on the agenda is PS Networking Fail. Yes, the PlayStation Network went down for 30 or 17 days. Who who cares? Who, who, who counted? I'm sure some nerds counted or whatever, but... Is it still down or is it back up and running? No, it's back up, but they're giving free games to 100... Fourteen dollars worth of free games for people. Oh, that's enough for completely fucking up their shit and risking their entire credit card information being stolen. Well, that's the thing, though. People who got a shit ton of charges on their credit cards, that's not going to make up for for that charge. Like, if you got charged a thousand dollars on your credit card, you're not going to be too happy. That they're giving you $114 worth of free games, including Little Big Planet and some other games. Uh, did they really charge? Like, did some people really get hundreds of dollars charged from them? If if their credit cards are stolen, you better believe somebody charged onto those credit cards. That was like, boy, how is it that easy? That's why I, I I'm originally PlayStation, but I'm glad I'm now Xbox. Well, I hope the red ring sucks dick, but. I'll even not get my ship stolen. There's talk about it actually being 4chan's anonymous that are uh, at the helm of everything because they were at war with Sony before the whole attacks happened. Makes sense. So you kind of just have to point fingers at them a little bit, but but do you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> so, our next topic is handheld consoles, handheld devices. Oh, they're coming out with some good ones, ain't they? They are. Uh, the, the new PlayStation phone is coming out by Xperia, and Sony Ericsson is coming out on the 26th of May, which is next week, and that is fantastic. But, it is $200 for the phone. And it's thirty dollars for the charge of the monthly fee. It comes with six games. And it's it's not too bad. I mean, it's a phone. 
If you want, yeah. if you want a gaming device that's also a phone, then I guess you'd go for that. But or I'll take my Game Boy without color any day. Or you could buy an iPod or an iPhone and just get the games too, because they have a lot of cool games on the App Store. Plants vs Zombies. Plants vs Zombies. That's actually a very good game, and uh, Love that game. there there's some role playing games oh, I, on there and different stuff like that. Oh yeah. And, um, Angry Birds. Yes, yeah. Angry Birds, Angry Birds Rio. Uh, oh, I saw that. Yeah. The phone. And there's a piano oh, one that they just came out with, but I don't remember the name of it. But you can find it on the App Store for free right now, so. Go check yeah, that and out. And all you have to do is sell your soul to Apple. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure that's somewhere in the, in the agreement, but. I'm pretty sure. Well, let's get on to the next topic. Nintendo's new console. Oh, Coming man. out in E3, I'm pretty sure, right? No, they're going to announce it in E3. But but yeah, that's what I kind of meant. But people are saying it's the it, Wii. So people are saying it's the Wii HD. But I don't think... Oh, I swear to God if it is. I don't think they're oh. going to release a console that's like the Wii that's HD. They might stay with motion control. But they're definitely trying to get into last gen software which is stupid they should be trying to go for 3d and but they want oh, yeah. it to be family friendly and i don't understand i remember back when i used to play what well, shit i forgot oh god it's been so <laughs> long mario yeah mario kart oh god i love that game yeah mario kart that's that's that was Fucking fun driving around his bowser screaming at toad that little fuck i used to be toad Fuck you, I used to be Bowser. And and uh, some other people I was on there too, but... We all know you are a Princess Peach. Actually, yeah, a few times. <laughs> you like men. Uh, anyway, uh, hopefully that console isn't just the Wii 2, and it's a brand new console with new features, and it looks different, and it's ready to play with the adults, because... That last console, the Wii, definitely was not ready for the console war, even though it put up a good fight. Um, so I don't think a child fighting an adult with a handgun. <laughs> but it did. It was doing good though. It was doing supply and demand. People were demanding that's because it because fat people were buying it to get skin with the Wii Fit. Well, that's that's like the connect though, which we'll be talking about in a few few minutes here. Ooh. Uh, E3 predictions. What do you What do you think is going to happen this year? I'm um, I'm thinking basically Sony. What? Sorry, folks. Technical difficulties. Uh, I, I'll tell you what I'm gonna. Th I'm thinking. I'm thinking that Microsoft is gonna wait. Not until a little bit after E3 to release information about their console. There, but my mic cut off. Yeah, that's. Uh, so what were you saying about Sony? Uh, Sony, uh, they'll they're gonna show up a pretty good fight, I think. But I think if Nintendo is, I don't know if you've already said this, but my mic cut out. Like I said, if Nintendo actually brings out a new console that's not like the Wii, like you and me predict, they'll blow everybody out of the water. Well. I don't think Sony will show up at E3 with a new console because they're generally the wait and no, see I'm type. About Nintendo, my bad. No, I, I Sorry, know, my but, mind kind of. But jumped. Sony, Sony will definitely not be at E3 that with a new they'll console. They'll mention their phones. They will talk about the phones and they'll talk about the NGP. I think the NGP is going to be the Sony's main attraction, and they're going to try to move more on the the PlayStation Move. Sorry. And Microsoft is going to try to make the Kinect look better. I, uh, I think they're going to really... I think a lot of good games are going to be shown, like Dead Island. I'm, I'm interested in that. A couple of new ones will be showing. Bungie. Hopefully Bungie shows up, because they're working oh, on a new project. I would project. love to see Bungie show up, but I, I really liked them in the Halo genre, personally. Like, if you haven't been able to tell, I am a Halo fanboy. Well, well, who's the company that took over for Bungie? It's, uh... Uh, Frick. 
something with a uh, I, this is funny we're a news thing and we don't even know <laughs> yeah we're, cause we're kind of swinging the shit you know fuck it who gives a fuck but let's go to the next one fuck whatever you have to say the <laughs> upcoming game <laughs> um the dead island is one of the ones that i'm excited about obviously uh Left 4 Dead 4 hopefully will be announced at E3, because the last oh, one was announced at E3, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it, I think all three of them, all two, both of them have been. Because they'd have to, they, if they, if they want to stick by that November release date that everyone thinks they're going to release it, then they'd have to start talking about it as early as E3. Yeah, but I'm like, I really would like to see some nice titles out there this year. I honestly think I mean, that Microsoft is going to try to, uh... Try I think Microsoft's going to put up a big fight at games more than consoles and accessories. Seeing as it's going to be I the see. holiday seasons in a, about seven months, then they'll be talking about Connect and how they're going to try to build up Connect and, uh... I really hope they don't do that. Connect I know was we're, we're talking about Connect garbage. now, but Connect, I, I played it, I, I thought it was like penis, it was just, I don't know. Uh, I mean, there's really not too many games that they're talking about for coming out, uh, so it's kind of Angry all speculation. Bird, Angry Birds the movie. A you know, that's not a game, that's a movie now. So. What? Well, no, you said you said the movie, so it would be a movie, not a game. I said Angry Birds, the movie. Yeah, I know, so it wouldn't be a game. So it wouldn't be upcoming games. Shut, shut up, Mom. <laughs> or reviews, sorry. Was that review? No, we, we're, reviews is now, so whatever. All right, really I, I got a game for reviews. Alright, go ahead. Uh, Brink. I bought it. I love it. I'm not... It's not a game you go repeatedly play, I've realized, though. It's more of a... You beat it, you can play around with it, but it's... Basically re a repeat of everything. So it's like, like Borderlands, right? Yeah. You, you, uh, a little more customizable. You keep going through your missions and whatnot. Doing the same thing. Killing the same type of people. Having sex with the same type of nuns. Yeah, their their DLC's coming up soon, which we'll be talking about uh, in a few more segments. So, that no, no, I don't know. Two, it's two, it's two more. We gotta get through two more. Uh, so, you like Brink, and would you recommend it for people to buy, rent, or just stay away from until DLC I, comes out? I'd say out? rent it and if you like it. Yeah, I would definitely rate this game. Eight penises out of ten. Oh, that sounds like a game you can get your hands on. <laughs> it does, but I'd rent it first. This is a good game if you like that type of game, but if you don't, it would. You don't like the repetitiveness, like I like the repetitiveness. If you don't, it's gonna suck wang. I like how the AI actually acts like a human and then and tries to fight you sometimes. Yeah, and sometimes they actually choose not to heal you. Which yeah, pisses me off. Alright, we're going to talk about Kinect right now, because we've been trying, we've been dying to talk about Kinect for the whole show, so it's going to take us two minutes to get through, because they're Connect going nowhere. <laughs> Where do you think they're going to head with E3 coming up? What do you think's gonna think is going to be the blockbuster? Just I just think they're going to suck. It, it just... The Kinect already crashed and burned. I really don't think it's a salvageable, a salvageable project for them to continue anymore. I honestly disagree. If they put games that are first-person shooters and not this Kinectimals bullshit and adventures hey, or hey, whatever... Hey, don't you hate on that tiger uh, thingy. But I don't even it, know what the fuck seriously, if they, if they put more shooters and they're not real shooters like Gears of War 3 is supposed to be... And they put more features and more work into the Connect. It could be a good, good thing. In reviews, we forgot the Gears of War three beta. I'd like to comment on that. We could roll back. I liked it, but that fucking goddamn sawed off. Yes. Jesus Christ, that thing made you want to punch a kitten in the face. So, 
back to the Kinect though. If they if they work on it some more, people will actually want the thing again because people are selling it. I sold mine to get an iPod Touch, and didn't regret it one I, bit. So I set mine on fire in the front yard. Huh. Uh, so now we're gonna talk about those pesky codes for online play. Oh god. I mean e EA. Which oh, puts out why home would front. they do that? Wait, no, EA is because... not home front. THQ is home front. Sorry, but well, in general, like, why would gamers want that? But here's the thing: EA is wanting to get rid of manuals, but if they put codes inside of their thing, that's still more paper that they're putting inside of a. Uh, I, mean, I like the manual. I everyone likes the manuals. It's a shame that they're getting rid of them. Uh, maybe they'll put them online for people to view, or maybe oh, they dumb. won't. Y yeah, but what do you do with the manual after you read it, though? Use it for spare toilet paper? Yeah, I, I, I put mine on, on the wall if it's Halo-related, but that's because no. I have a Halo fetish. I, I just kind of look through them every now and then. Yeah, if you're on the toilet, I guess it's... I, if I you have nothing better to toilet. read. <laughs> Uh, but if you're, if, if some magic happens and you're a company that's releasing games and you're watching this, please, I am begging you, I will pay an extra, like, ten dollars on games for you not to fucking put codes in the thing. Just let the multiplayer be free, I know you don't like people renting games anymore, but it's no excuse for you charging more money or whatever, which kind of contradicts what I just said, so... Yeah. It does. It does. Alright, next thing is upcoming and current DLCs. Well, Brink, the game everyone's been excited for, is coming out with DLC. Next month, it's going to be totally free because they're trying to make up for the bad patches. Well, not bad patches, but the lag that they've been issuing. Oh, God, that was terrible. And uh, I think that is beautiful of them to do. If you, if you like that then but they're gonna get the same thing that Valve got when Valve wanted to release all their stuff for free. What do you mean? When Valve wanted to release the Left 4 Dead stuff for free, they got basically shit on by Microsoft. Well they're not doing all their DLC for free, it's just this first yeah, you one. You know what I mean, but uh Valve wanted to do everything for free and Which would have been nice. But hosting costs for uh content is not paid if that happens and they end up losing a shit ton of money but it's really nice that a company if they notice they make some mistakes that they go here's some stuff for the game enjoy we are sorry please stay I'm with us they bring deathmatch to do it though uh i'm sure in the in some dlc they'll put some new modes in uh but right now it doesn't look like anything like that's gonna happen so i don't know we must save the ark uh, so thoughts on portal. age limits on games real quick. No, Portal. Portal, okay, we got like one minute, so run through it. Alright, Portal, coming out with new DLC, more multiplayer, ba ba ba, we all know this. Yeah, uh, Fallout, coming up with a new one, that will be next segment, and age limits on games, I don't think they should be happening. I think they should, we were talking about this earlier actually, they should issue a license, you have your parents go into like a GameStop and they give you, they give the guy your age or whatever, they give you a card that says how old you are, so you take it to the counter with you and they'd be like, oh you're blah 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 years old, you're able to get the game, uh, and it should be lowered to 14, because... Uh, I, I'll, I, people mature more differently now. Go ahead, Tom. Well, basically, I, I in my opinion, I like the way uh, the idea is and having rewards because I can't get my permanent license. So if I want to go buy an M game, I have to bring my dad with me. That's clocking retarded. Well, I am that's old a, enough to grab. That's a shame, but that's all we've got time for today, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, we will have a new episode up in a few days, so look for that. And thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. I am Muffin. I was the Evil Soul Hunter. And we love you. And catch you later.